guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm doing a different kind of video. A video, one, I don't really think I've seen done here on YouTube, and two, something I, like, I want to do a rant video, which I may still do, like, that's definitely still a possibility, but I came up with this idea and loved it, and I just wanted to roll with it while it was still a fresh idea. So, in my experience with watching a lot of fragrance YouTubers, because I watch a lot of them, um, I may not always comment on the videos I watch, but I definitely do watch a lot of YouTube and a lot of fragrance reviewers. And the one common thing I hear a lot, and it actually kind of makes me upset a little bit, is this smells good for a celebrity perfume. And I've hated that. It literally is a phrase I've heard probably almost on every channel. So this definitely isn't calling out anybody in particular. It's just, I hear it all the time. I hear it smells good for a celebrity fragrance. So this is really nice for being a celebrity fragrance. A celebrity fragrance made this. It's really nice. Ignore the name. This is really nice. Like, I hear that a lot. And I've said it myself on here. It's, you know, good for a typical celebrity fragrance. Whatever. They all smell sweet. They all smell like candy. They're all generic. They're all bubblegummy. They're all mass appealing. And while true, do they some do smell that way. There are quite a few that don't smell that way. And so I came up with what I'm calling Among the Stars' Celebrity Perfume Challenge. On my Instagram, you'll notice I posted a video with all these fragrances, uh, or I posted a picture, if I can speak words correctly, that'd be great, um, of all these fragrances. So my idea is I want you guys to tag your favorite fragrance reviewers and have them do this challenge. And basically, this isn't sponsored in any way or shape or form by Amazon, but I did do it through Amazon. Um... I purchased, put all these fragrances in a cart on Amazon, and it came up to about $216, which, yes, is a lot of money, but most of these are full-size bottles, um, and $200 is about the cost of a really nice niche fragrance or a couple designer fragrances, and I'm going to do this in, there's 10 fragrances with a couple honorable mentions for a couple of the fragrances, um, and I put them in an order of... You could do all ten, or you could do, um, just five, and I'm sure, like, five would be the cost of a regular designer fragrance. The most expensive fragrance on this list comes in, like, 38 bucks, and is also the most celebrity perfume smelling, so what's that tell you? So, I'm not gonna describe any of these fragrances, I do have reviews for all these fragrances if you, um, would like to see them. I believe I have, nope, there's two that I don't have reviews for, I, I can tell right off the hand, one of them... I have reviews for most of these, um, but, so just tag your favorite fragrance reviewer, have them watch it, um, and hopefully some reviewers will take this challenge and do it. I would love to hear their unboxing first impressions of these fragrances and smelling them for the first time, um, so kind of like combine all ten together or all five together when they come in and smell them all together and do kind of like a video is my idea. So, we'll just dive right into this. Like I said, these aren't in any particular order. But there are like a top five that you could do like the five and then ten. So, coming in, the first one, we're going to do Jennifer Aniston J. Um, this is a really, really nice fragrance. I'm going to not talk about them because I want to. Honorable mention for this one is Silver. They don't smell the same, but Silver is also a really, really nice one. This one um, isn't on my Amazon list. I didn't even look for it on Amazon. I know you can get this at Kohl's, um, but this is on my Amazon list. So... And I didn't make, like, a shopping cart. You can just type all these fragrances in the Amazon, and most of them are right there. So, um, next is Paradise Elixir by Shakira. Then next will be Rise by Beyonce. Next in <clears throat> is Katy Perry Indie. And an honorable mention is Katy Perry's Indivisible. So the only difference I'm really going to say is if you prefer coconut, go with this one. If you don't prefer coconut, go with this one. Um, or go with both. But this, it, these are very good fragrances as well. Next one is Sean Mendez Signature Number 2. Definitely make sure it's Signature Number 2. Signature Number 1 um, smells a lot like Britney Spears' Private Show. This does not smell like that. Um, the top five are going to be Elixir by Shakira. And Paradise Elixir could technically be in the top five. They're both really nice fragrances and both can be swapped out. Um, Chapter One by um, Jennifer Aniston. Kiss by Rihanna. 
Platinum Rush by Miss Paris Hilton. And the most expensive fragrance on this list and the most celebrity fragrance smelling is Selena Gomez's original fragrance, Selena Gomez. This is the most expensive. This is 38 bucks on Amazon. All the other fragrances on this list are um, under $38. So the total comes out to like $215, like I said. Um, but definitely, please tag your favorite fragrance reviewer if you are a fragrance reviewer and you would like to take this challenge. Please let me know that you took this challenge because I would love to see your video. Um, and I really, really hope that some of you guys will experience some new celebrity fragrances that you may not have smelled in the past just because of the name marketed to them or um, just kind of the wrap around celebrity fragrances. So eventually I will be doing a whole video about... Um, my feelings on celebrity fragrances and the way that they're treated in the fragrance community, but definitely put this video out there. I would like to see some reviewers do it, um, and tag your favorite reviewer on Instagram. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, it's A the S Perfume, or follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. The links are in the description below, and as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.